I'll be using the Recollections Value Pack that comes from Michael's Craft Store. And I will be covering the top part of our card with a piece of black cardstock. I can get four pieces out of one eight and a half by 11. And sometimes I'm a little bit lazy, so I just do a quick little crease. Use my Fiskars cutter. Line up with my creases. Cut that in half. Again, crease. And cut. This will end up being just slightly wide on the one side, so I'm just going to match up my edges. So I've got the same amount of distance all the way around here, and I'm just going to cut out, cut off an extra quarter inch on the other side. Now I'll be wanting to adhere my black to my card, and I'm going to be using the product. Let's go stick with me. So it's just a matter of lining up your edges, pressing down, cut off with your scissors or use your fingers. And one through the middle. Press it in place. And then just peel off the backing. Line up your black piece onto your card and press in place, and we're ready to go. The next step. I want to put a little tiny stamp, Happy Valentine's Day, on the bottom of my black. I'm going to be using the Versamark stamp pad. I'm going to be using Recollections Pearl Embossing Powder, and I'll be using the Hobby Hot Boss Heat Gun. Take our stamp. And press it into our Versamark stamp pad. Take your embossing powder, sprinkle it over the card. Tap it with your fingers. Have some excess, you can just take a brush, clean it up. Now I know there is a product, a little tiny rag, and it's supposed to eliminate static cling. And I don't have one of those. And I tried just using an, an eye cleaning cloth to just wipe off the card first but it doesn't really work. So I do need to pick one of those up. Pick up your paper, and in it goes nicely back into the jar. And we're just gonna heat it until you can see it's starting to shine. And there we have our embossed Happy Valentine's Day. And you can see how it's all come up nice and shiny. So the next thing I want is to make a heart template. So I'm going to want to have it about that wide. So I'm just going to fold this paper in half. And 
give it a test. I think what I want to do is make my heart a little bit more longer and it'll come down and fill up the card a bit more. That fills up the card quite nicely. So I'm just going to come in with a watercolor pencil and just make an outline. The next thing you'll be needing to do is find yourself some great little dot tools. This set here is a set I actually bought off Amazon and they're actually cake fondant tools. And so you get a variety of all different sizes. It was about $5 from Amazon. Here's a set of really cheap paint brushes from the dollar store. But as you can see, look at the ends. It gives you all these different sizes for making dots. The end of an eraser on the pencil works really good. Nails and sewing pins. They work really well for making dots. And one of my favorite tools I use the most of all is just an, an embossing tool. And it has a smaller end and a larger end. And I'm just gonna be using some uh, cheap paints from the dollar store. This is Craft Smart. This is Holiday Red. I might choose to use some pink. This is Carousel Pink from Americana. I'll bring in a little bit of silver. This happens to be full cart in metallic silver. And uh, this is a cotton ball white, just an off white. I'm using a palette that I got from the dollar store and I found this one because it has a deeper well. You want something that's a bit deeper so you can get your dotting tool into the paint and have enough paint on your tool. You'll also want some paper towels for cleaning. Some stir sticks to stir your paint or mix your paint if you want to mix up some colors. And I also have a little medicine dropper, so if I want to grab just that little bit of water, I can suck up a bit of water and add it to my paint to thin it down if necessary. Give your paints a good shape before you use them because they do tend to settle. So I'll start with some silver, the holiday red, and we've got pink burst, and the cotton ball. Now, if you want to make variations of these colors, this is why I've left space in between. I would take just a small portion of my red and then add some of the pink shade and mix that together. So now we have a shade in between the red and the pink. I'll add just a little bit of red and some white. And let's mix that up. So this shade is a little bit darker than this one, but not quite enough of a difference. So I'm going to add a little bit more red. lighter than this shade, but darker than that shade. By adding just the white and a bit of the pink. So there we have a nice variety of lots of the different colors and the different hues. We've only used three colors, like counting the silver, but we've made five colors out of them, well, six counting the white. Now for consistency, this is just a, just a little bit thick dot painting. So we're going to thin it down just a small amount. And we'll just continue to test the rest of the colors for thickness. And we'll just thin them down just a little bit more. I'm going to start with the larger end of my embossing tool for my dots. I'm going to start here and I'm going to walk the dots down so they get smaller into the center. I'm going to choose to use my silver because I want to bring in the color of the Happy Valentine's Day to make it come into the design for the heart. So I'm going to start about here and we'll walk it down. And the same thing here, I want the dots smaller on the bottom. So I'll start here 
and I'm going to work the dart down to the bottom. Now I'm going to make all the darts the same size, so I'll re-dip every time. going to use the smaller end. I'm just going to follow this line and just do a couple little curls here and there. I'm going to come in, I'm going to make a smaller dot in between the silver dots. I'm going to come in with my dark red. I've decided to continue the pattern and follow my little curly cues. Be very careful about to come on top of your paint because this is a video I want to keep going for you, but I really should let this section dry and then carry on. I'm going to come in with a, a larger end and I'm going to come in with my middle, kind of actually my darker pink shade. Make a dot right here. And again up here. I'm going to come back in with my smaller tool and I'm going to come in with the next pink and we're going to make smaller dots around that pink. Come into my second pink. I'm going to make a larger dot right here and here. Go on each side. And then in the middle. Again, I'm going to go in between the white dots. The next 
looks darker pink and in between those last pink dots again. And if you're doing this at home, I'd advise you to let each section dry first. Now I'm going to come back to my larger one. I'm going up to the next dark pink. And in between the last row of pink. Come back with the smaller tool and I'm going to come in with the white starting at the top and walking around that last pink dot. same on the side. Now with my smaller end, I'm going to come in with this lighter ready pink and I'm just going to fill in around our last little design here. Now with the red, I'm going to follow along the silver. Fill in this section here. Poked the uh, sewing needle into the eraser part so I've got a little bit of a tool. So I'm just going to come in and make some more dots. I'm going to circle those with some white. Thank you. 
the sections again. I'm going to start out here first for the larger dot and smaller dots inside. top of the silver and come in and put a red dot on top. If you want to add a little bit more glitter to your cards, you can pick up some salt adhesive gems from the dollar store. And then what you'll want to do is just come in and cut in between each gem, and then you'll be able to get them off individually. We'll have a nice sticky backing, and probably where I'll put these is just on the bigger circles. And just add a bit more color. I've decided to add one to each corner of the black cardstock. Now you've got a card with some more bling and some shine and some sparkle. So I've made a little tiny three by three card here. I've embossed it using this heart stamp, embossed it in red. And then inside, I have another stamp that says, All of the gifts life could send, the best is knowing you're my friend. So there's a cute little valentine to give to your friends. Give them with a little piece of chocolate, and you're set to go. And just to finish this one off, I'm going to just put some dots around the outside, and this one will be finished. <laughs> 